Hey, Mike with CoachMikeMcDonald.com here. In today's video, I'll be walking you through six proven strategies to grow your pest control business with local SEO, so let's get into it. Now, if you're looking to generate leads in your local area and attract new pest control customers, one of the best ways to do it is through local SEO. And there's really six foundation steps and strategies you wanna implement to maximize your results. And so the first step is to set up a Google My Business profile. And so this works like an online storefront for your pest control business. And it's one of the best ways to show up in Google Maps. So when people are using search terms like pest control business near me or pest control service or simply just pest control in my area, various things like that, when you have an optimized Google My Business profile, it can get your page to show up for search terms like that and generate a lot of traffic and leads and phone calls for your pest control business. And so you can optimize your Google My Business page in a few different steps. One is that you fully wanna fill out the profile. So this is listing descriptions for the services you offer, the hours that you do business. You wanna make sure that you select the right category for your business. You wanna make sure you link to your website. And then you also want to post on a regular basis and upload photos regularly. And so when it comes to the photos that you upload, make sure they're not just stock photos. Google and people checking out your business and doing research are going to want to see real photos. So make sure that you take photos of your technicians, take them horizontally. You can be done through a smartphone and good lighting. You wanna make sure you geotag those photos to make sure that there's a location added to the specific photos. This just adds more strength to the profile, indicating that you do business where you say you do business and adds legitimacy to your business from a search engine standpoint. And if possible, try and make your photos tell a story. So if you offer rodent removal, maybe you're showing a technician laying traps out. If you have bed bug removal and you do heat treatments, maybe you showcase your technicians setting those machines up in a home. Again, a lot of different options, but use real photos, upload them regularly, and it's a great way to optimize your Google My Business page and get the best results from local SEO. The second step is to fill out local citations and directory listings for your pest control business. And so again, there's a lot of different directories out there where you can fill out a profile for your business. There's different softwares that even make this easier. Bright Local is an example where you can have a large citation blast go out and make sure that your profiles are set up in all these local directories. Again, it's not necessarily a thing that humans do per se in searching those things out, but when you have links coming back to your website or again, backlinks from these authoritative directories that are focused on your local area, it can really boost the local SEO for your website and bring more exposure to your pest control business, which again leads to more pest control leads and new customers for your pest control business. So make sure you fill these directories out as it can help give your business additional exposure and start getting those backlinks coming in. The third step is to optimize your website for local SEO. And so there's a couple different ways to do that. One is to highlight the name, address, and phone number on every page on your website. Typically, you can just do this in the footer of your website. Make sure that this address matches the address that you have listed on your Google My Business page and social media profiles and really anywhere you talk about your business because that's another key thing that search engines like Google are looking for is that consistency of your name, address, and phone number across the board. So again, make sure that's up to date and correct in your Google My Business listings, your social media profiles, and those citation and directory listings and make sure that's all congruent with what's listed on your website as well. Another way to boost your local SEO on your website is to build location pages. And so these are dedicated pages to your services for a specific location. So typically, unless you're a national company, you're going to be doing business in a local service area. So there's likely a major city you do business in and then a few suburbs in the surrounding area. Typically, that's what people are searching for. So if they search for pest control, Minneapolis or pest control in New York City or pest control in Pittsburgh, whatever the case might be, where your business is located, you wanna create location pages dedicated to the main pest control service keyword and that city because again, that's what people are searching for. So this can be a highlight overview of the services you offer, why your pest control business or really your core difference and why people should choose you over the competition, maybe include some different frequently asked questions, and of course have a call to action where people can request an estimate, schedule a free inspection, and ideally you wanna have some type of lead magnet offer. So for people that are just in research mode, they're not ready to hire you yet, 
They can download some type of guide like tips on pest proofing or general pest control tips or whatever the case might be. Something they can download where you can gather their information to continue to remarket to them in the future. So make sure you set up these location pages for the service areas you do business in as it can drive more local traffic to your website and attract new customers locally. The fourth step is to set up a review management strategy. And so this works in conjunction with your Google My Business page, but you can also set up profiles on websites like Yelp, for example. And so the more positive reviews you have on these websites, the more likely your profile is going to show up in local search. So again, Google My Business, for example, the more positive reviews that you have and the more overall reviews that you have and the higher star rating that your company has, the more likely you're going to show up in that map pack, they call it, which is the top three listings on Google Maps. So if people, again, are using search terms like that pest control service near me, pest control near me, pest control estimate, different things like that, likely Google is going to show a Google Maps location because people want that local service. And so if you've optimized your review management strategy. It builds a ton of credibility for your business. It can increase conversion rates and it's a ranking factor for your profile. And putting those all together just creates more opportunities for new pest control leads for your business and attracting new customers locally. So make sure you set up a review management strategy to take advantage of this. The fifth step is to optimize your social media profiles. So this step can also impact your local SEO optimization because it can create quality backlinks going back to your website. So as I mentioned, this is a place where you wanna make sure that you set up a profile, create a Facebook business page, a Twitter account, a LinkedIn page, an Instagram page, really anything that you can think of that's a relevant social media profile. Make sure you fill out the description fully, link back to your website, and as you have time, try and post to these profiles. And when you do that, it just adds more quality backlinks to your pest control website, which can help optimize your local SEO. But on top of that, you can build local followings on these profiles. And so when you post your value-based content here, special offers, whatever the case might be, it can drive people back to your website and attract new customers locally. Plus, when you decide to get into advertising your business, you're already set up with these profiles and have content there, which is gonna add credibility to your business as well. The sixth step to optimizing your local SEO for pest control companies is to set up a YouTube channel and post local content there as well. So you don't need to do a ton of this, but setting this up in general is helpful. Again, optimize your profile, showcase where you do business, and then you might create a general video that's sort of like a commercial for your business that showcases the expertise you have, highlights some key points of your process, talks about why people should do business with you, so maybe it's the years you've been in business, how many homes you've serviced, how many happy customers you have, your overall review rating, different things like that. Just kind of an intro video on your business. And again, you can label this as pest control services in New York. Something like now offering pest control services in Boston. Again, wherever you do business, you can create short little intro videos on this. And it's just another opportunity to link back to your website to capitalize on people searching locally on the YouTube platform. And it's just another way to introduce people to your business locally. So again, implement these six proven strategies to optimize your local SEO for your pest control business. And when you do so, it can attract new pest control leads and new customers locally for your pest control business and help grow your business faster. So again, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. And if you'd like more high quality leads for your pest control business, we actually put together a free guide on the five easiest and fastest ways to generate new pest control leads. So you've got that guide in the link in the description below this video. So definitely download it there. And if you'd like more detailed help, on exactly how you can optimize your marketing strategy to attract more leads and customers to your pest control business, be sure to schedule a digital marketing audit with our team where we can walk you through step-by-step -step how you can optimize your digital marketing strategy to attract new pest control leads and customers to your business. So if you'd like to schedule that, again, there'll be a link in the description below where you can do so. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications to get the latest updates of new videos we put out to help you build a profitable business. But once again, thanks for tuning in and we'll talk to you more soon.